Welcome to my get response review where here I'm going to be giving you a demo of some of the most popular features and of course my opinion about this email marketing platform overall. If you'd like to follow along I will leave my link in the description and if you click that you can actually get a free account for get response. One thing I also like about them is that you can test them out no card required just to make sure that they're going to be perfect for you. Let's begin. Right off the bat, I do have to say that the get response autoresponder feature is fantastic. It's simple to set up, pretty easy to use, and can save you so much time and effort when it comes to setting out emails. What happens is that when you collect a lead or an email from someone else, this is going to allow you to send emails automatically in the background at any time interval that you like. Here's how it works, just so you can see the process. Here I have a brand new autoresponder section just for a get response tutorials here. So in case you're starting from scratch, you know how it works. We're going to go to create autoresponder. Here we're going to do by myself, while you can do with AI, I just want to show you how it works where you can always do it yourself and then of course if you wanted to, utilize AI. Alright, so what we need to do here is just fill out a few things. This is going to be the title, kind of similar to a subject line, but only you're going to see it. I like making this the same as the actual subject line itself, which I'll get to in a second. If this is going to be the first autoresponder, you want to have it on day zero, but there's going to be some other things that you can change around if you want there to be a delay, a specific time, or maybe you want it to go out on any particular day. And of course, if you are giving something out for free, you do want to do it right away. You don't want to make them wait, of course, all right? That's going to be our from. We have our subject line right here, which I'm going to make the same. And of course, when it comes to designing and creating content, a walk in the park when it comes to get response, let's go to design message. Now there's going to be plenty of templates that you can choose from, but in all my years of experience, I love the blank ones less pictures, less chances of ending up in the sin bin, as I like to call it, which is the spam box. So I'm just gonna go with a blank one, just so you can see how it actually works, okay? So we want to add a logo or remove it, pretty simple stuff. We're gonna drag here, drop here, and back and forth. So I'm gonna open up my email just so I can paste it in for you. And you'll notice here when we have the basic blocks, you can add images, text, buttons, dividers, spacers, videos, and so on and so forth. Let's drag our text in here. Let's paste this in here. And what I always do, I'm just gonna format it very quickly so it looks a little bit better on the eyes. All right, so there we have it, the same email that's gonna be formatted a little bit differently so it looks better on the eyes. And of course, if you wanted to add a link like I did down below, just highlight the text you're gonna be utilizing and simply click on the link section here. So their drag and drop editor here is very friendly. There is one thing that you might wanna change if you're noticing like this right here is specifically in the middle. What we can do is go to message style and if we just simply hit plus a few times, we can move it over more to the left and so on and so forth. But that's gonna be the process when it comes to setting up your emails. There are gonna be a few more things that you can utilize, but I recommend keeping them as simple as possible. You'll get the most amount of opens that way, and that's always a good thing. So that's gonna be the process for the autoresponder. Almost done with it, and I'll show you how we can continue on and add more if we need to. Let's click on next. Okay, and let's say everything is going to be good there. There's also going to be the spam check here where it says we couldn't find any major issues. So if you have a lot of words in there that might trigger the spam like free or congratulations or like weight loss or make money or anything like that, it's going to let you know so you can also help stay out of the, the spam box even more. Let's click on save and publish. And just like that, we have created our first follow-up email where any, anytime someone opts into your landing page, they're going to be sent this immediately. And all you have to do is keep repeating the process where you create another one, except maybe you want to send it every two days. So the next one would be on day two, and then day four, and day six. And you can really just do an email a day if you want and keep adding to that so it'll save you a ton of time. And that's a great thing about email when it comes to automation. Autoresponders are a great way to not only save a lot of time, but get more clicks to your offers or just obviously increase your sales and revenue. Avenue. And if autoresponders aren't your thing, no problem. Very easy to send out newsletters as well. If you go to tools here and then you go to email marketing, you simply click on new newsletter and you're going to see right here, this is the same exact process. We have our untitled message. Obviously, this just appears for you. And of course, we would have our subject line, who you want it to go with. This has zero just because it's for get response tutorials. And we would do the same exact thing here. So that's a good thing about get response is that if you're looking to create autoresponders or you're looking to create newsletters, it's pretty much the same process. The only difference here is that, you know, who is it going to be sent out to versus how many days into your autoresponder series is it going to be? Then, of course, you can obviously send message and publish. Given the fact these are probably two of the biggest features of GetResponse, it's a great thing that they are pretty simple to use because once you do them once, I think you're going to get the hang of it. And that's always a good thing. You don't have to worry about any of that technical headache that can sometimes come with email marketing services. 
Now transitioning away from email marketing for a little, GetResponse has certainly transformed themselves over the years. In fact, I think they were around right around when I started online 2012. I'd have to look up the date of their launch, but it's great to know that they have stood the test of time and that's always a good thing. I've seen so many email marketing platforms come and go. GetResponse has certainly stood the test of time and with that, they are always improving and growing upon their platform. Another great accolade about them. Speaking of that, let's talk about landing pages. So in case you don't have a landing page builder, this can get the job for you in terms of creating a landing page so that you can collect leads or maybe just do other things like send traffic to offers. Let's click on it to show you how it works. We have create landing page right here. In case you wanna to get to it, you're gonna to go to tools and landing pages. For this, I'm just gonna use a ready-made template. However, you can use the AI builder if needed. So GetResponse does come with a plethora of templates. However, in my opinion, I think they could be a little bit better when it comes to generating leads, just based upon my experience in having higher conversions. Nevertheless, I'm just gonna go to the business and industrial templates right here and scroll down ever so slightly. Normally I'm looking for one where it's just gonna be like pretty much what you're seeing at the top here, where you have your name and email and so on and so forth. Usually with that, you're gonna have less clutter, um, more focus and a higher chances of increasing your conversions because when someone arrives on your page and they only see like, here's what you can get, enter your email and nothing else, it's either they're usually gonna enter in their email or leave and that's what you want. You don't want a lot of other distractions. With that in mind, I'm just gonna use this template to show you as an example. All right, and here, so we have the drag and drop editor. It is pretty much gonna be, hey, if you wanna edit something here, simply click on it. For example, we have our logo here. And let's say we want to replace this. I am gonna be using mine with my files just to kind of show you how it works very quickly, okay? And let's say we had this social thing right here. Maybe we don't want that. We don't wanna have our socials up at top. We can delete that, of course. If you want to change anything around, we can do that right here. Give me one moment. All right, so I just put free ebook reveals how to create a 100 day autoresponder series in two hours. That'd be pretty cool, right? Just think about it, 100 emails in only two hours. It can be done, I imagine, with ChatGPT, but something I just came up with off the top of my head. I'm sorry I don't have that available for you, so if that's really enticing, didn't mean to do that, okay? Uh, and just some other things down here. We can take a look at the left and the right, so in case you wanted to change anything around right here, like I said, it's more about what do we wanna change? Let's click on it. Let's take a look at the right. Do we wanna change around that picture? I showed you how to do that. Maybe we wanna change around the text, whatever it's going to be. We have our font size, we have our font, the types, and so on and so forth. With alignment, it could be the middle, left, or right, and so on and so forth. And anything else, like if you see a specific section you don't want, you can just go here and delete. If you want to drag and drop anything, what you do is you hover over it. Let's say we have this, and I'm just gonna move it right here. Although it doesn't look great there, let's hit undo right here where we can go back and it's just gonna be pretty much like that. So something else we can do when it comes to the fields, this is gonna be important. So we have our fields right here. We have our name, we can actually get rid of this. I like removing names when you do that, there's only the email. The less fields you have here, the higher chances of conversion. So the success view as well. So what do you wanna do after someone submits a form? Let's say we just wanna show a message, say so like thank you something like that, okay? You can always redirect to another page or just show a thank you page up to you, but just kind of giving you an idea about how this works here, and we can go off of that. Obviously, you would change around the picture. That's not me, nor do I claim it to be me, but just as an example, giving you a quick follow through and overview of how this landing page builder works and how you can connect it to your autoresponder. Speaking of that, allow me to show you right now. Let's click on continue. All right, so we have our free ebook landing page. We wanna connect this to the get response tutorial list that I have. This is the one with no contacts on it. Of course, right here, add contacts to an autoresponder cycle. So you notice that we created that autoresponder before. When someone opts in, immediately they're going to get sent that to the day zero one where they get their free gift immediately. And then from then on out, that's when you can do a lot of the cool automation. There's the ability to add favicons if you wanna do that, which are gonna be located right there, that little itty bitty icon in case you wanna change that around. We have a cookie consent banner and and a few other things in case you wanted to update those or change those or even just use those. Let's click on continue. And I'm just gonna give it a domain name of this when using their get response. You can connect your own if needed, but just for the sake of this example, I'm gonna click on publish. All right, and just like that, let me quickly open this up. It's gonna look obviously very similar to what we saw here. Very basic, like I said, I didn't obviously dive deeper into it. This would be the email here. Let me just give you an example and put a random email in. And as exactly as stated, we have a random email. Let's click on sign up and we're gonna see that nice little note. Thank you, check your inbox for your free gift. Pretty simple stuff, right? So let's move on over to the pricing when it comes to GetResponse. What's also great about them is not only do they pack a lot of value, is their pricing is pretty good if you ask me. 
they do come with a free plan and should you want to upgrade it's only going to be $19 a month in the beginning that's if you have up to a thousand contacts of course when you increase the pricing is going to increase as well but not necessarily a bad thing because say you have a list of like 2,500, 5,000, or 10,000 contacts, you're probably doing pretty well, especially if you're gonna be using your email marketing. Maybe it's gonna be through autoresponders, um, email broadcast, whatever it's going to be. I imagine it's mostly just gonna be something that can help you increase your ROI if you use email marketing effectively, of course. But when it comes to the basic plan, it comes with unlimited newsletters, autoresponders, websites and landing page, email landing page templates, sign up forms and pop ups, and of course, you get live chat. There are going to be some other differences when it comes to upgrading. Some of these are going to be much more advanced features like marketing automation, workflows, webinars, a much bigger one, sales funnels. And of course, maybe if you're into e commerce, this could be good for you there. Nevertheless, those were some of the popular get response features. And speaking of that, as you can see right here, they're still going to be working on something at the time of creating this video. It might be out when you see it, but they have a content monetization platform coming as well. So really a good thing here. Get response has been around for so long. They keep improving. And as you can see, even while I'm doing this review, they're adding a much bigger monetization platform to it. Not too bad if you ask me. But in closing, GetResponse has truly stood the test of time, offering reliable service for many years. It's simple and effective for sending emails and creating autoresponders, making it a go-to for many digital marketers, and that might be even you as well. Plus, if you're looking for more than just email marketing capabilities, GetResponse comes with a host of additional features like webinars, landing pages, and much more. And as you can see here, they do have that content monetization platform coming as well. On the slight downside, I would say that their landing pages and their templates are fairly basic, especially when compared to software dedicated exclusively to landing pages and sales funnels. However, despite that fact, they remain useful and beneficial for most marketing needs. And it's, I see it as a little extra boost in case you don't have any landing pages. Now you do where you can send traffic to those, collect your emails, and let GetResponse do all of the heavy lifting. Overall, GetResponse still remains a solid choice for comprehensive email marketing solutions with extra perks and is highly recommended as an email platform that packs quite a valuable marketing punch. So that concludes my Get Response review. I hope that helps you out when it comes to making an appropriate decision for you and your online marketing. I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can see for yourself and get a free account to Get Response. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video.